Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for another PvP commentary. Today, we are playing some Templar, and, uh, well, Templar is feeling quite great in this patch, and we just have such a heavy damage over time meta. Templar just has the best purge in the game, and right off the bat on these clips here, you guys can see just how great this purge is and how it allows us to maintain this offensive pressure, picking up two really nice burst kills on those guys there, and we're just going to pop back here, unfortunately getting stunned, and this guy's going to be able to get the res off in time. We do manage to fear him before he gets that second res, though, and uh, go for more pressure, but we've got more yellow coming in, and we're going to have to retreat as we're lower on resource here but yeah man that templar purge honestly making all the difference i feel like as a medium armor player if i wasn't on a templar it would be incredibly difficult to be playing solo um i did do some solo on the stamina necromancer too and the necro still felt okay it does have a strong purge but man it is just nowhere near as good as this templar purge and i think that's the reason why i've been enjoying my templar still in this uh in this pretty brutal dot meta to play but uh here you can see we get dotted up really heavy all the negative effects two purges there and we still have negative effects on top of us and that's exactly what i'm talking about we have to have that that really strong purge for this meta and we come back around the corner just purging off some more stuff get a good roll on this guy's attack there set the fear down for a nice stun on these guys there but i get hit by the counter fear by these players and i'm just gonna have to kite back around the rocks here with the mist and uh, come back around this corner just wait for some of those negative effects to come off as we're a little bit lower on magicka just forced to really use our purge uh this patch and we get a great fear into this spear ultimate the executioner a nice kill off on that player there and we just pop back around the corner, reset our buffs, both of these players right away going for the res, and I get the bash off on both players, and we dot this guy up, crit rush up, uh, up on top of him, go for our spear ultimate, and get good damage into him, but we got the other yellow player behind us there, so I just pop back down behind here, and I'm just going to reset my buffs again, and we're going to see if these guys are going to attempt the res, but both of them paying attention to me now, not going for that res, so I break this stun, and I'm just going to pop back around the other corner here, and uh, just try to engage these guys from behind, unfortunately, Unfortunately, I'm not able to crit rush up these rocks successfully um, when I was trying to do it earlier. So that's why I went around the corner there. And there we see a nice combo there. We go for the crit rush, manage to get the crit rush up there, but we get hit by the counter fear from the Necro Totem. And uh, we're unable to capitalize on the combo there. A nice little off balance stun on that enemy player. Um, just really utilizing those partial charged heavies with that off balance. You can get some really nice, easy free stuns off on your opponents. And you want to make sure to utilize that. And there you see a nice group feed. I try to go for uh, some kind of offensive pressure, but they get healed up right away, so I just don't use my ultimate, just kind of save it. And two blue players come crashing in. They put a lot of damage into that yellow player. I crit rush in, getting the finishing blow on him, and uh, they start pushing pressure right away into the rest of these yellow guys. And there's only the three yellow players left. I quickly finish off another one of the yellow that they dotted up. And the last uh, HP Necromancer there just goes into his ultimate. And the blue players end up finishing him off. But a good fight there nonetheless. Now, moving on to our next clip here, we've got a little bit of a scroll chase. So the yellow players have just stolen their scroll back from blue. This guy refuses to get off his horse, and well, he's actually faster on his horse than we are on foot, so we hitch a little bit of a ride with the crit rush there until he dies, and then we're just going to keep chasing this zerg until, well, there we go. We can hitch another ride with the crit rush. That guy there taking a little bit of damage, and uh, we've got a few players dismounting to attack me here, so I go right into the mist form. Kite behind this tree. We're going to purge off coming out of the mist, and and we roll good defensive maneuver there just uh, preemptively making sure we don't get hit by anything super nasty and here we go we got to come up the side of the hill and we've got a few players chasing take the stun from the javelin there just get behind this tree and try to dot one of these guys up just uh just throwing damage on whoever we can very low hp player there we see him miss the way uh off in the corner and we get chased by this guy behind us so i just throw the uh power of the light on him we poison injection crit rush into him and we get a great fear as he falls here into our ultimate starko Going for those executioners and he does not heal himself so we bring another player down and we're going to continue to chase the scroll here um this guy gets hit by a friendly player's stun we're just going to crit rush into him there hit him with a couple executioners and a huge crit with the uh ultimate there 
to bring him down. And I just love that spear ultimate, man. 72 ultimate. You can literally just spam that stuff and it'll come right back. Continuing to chase the scroll here and we get a couple yellow players engaging from behind. So I turn around, dot them up and they follow me around the corner. I crit rush into this guy as a few friendly players are getting off their horses as well. It's going to be a bit of a scrappy fight. This guy here just continuing to try to run away. We just keep crit rushing into him, put the damage in, get him with that fear and finish him off with the executioner. And now we turn around and we're going to try to help out this last red player oh he's just getting killed by these yellow i go for the combo on this guy there hit him with a nice crit off the executioner finishing that player off just gonna hit our uh hit our purge there come back around the rocks and try to reset and there you see what was the distance on that wrecking blow oh my lord he hits us with the wrecking blow we're just gonna uh, break the stun there just keep kiting around the corner we got a great dot up on this player here he's not watching his hp there's the fear into our ultimate the executioner and we bring another yellow player down on the rocks here i don't break this stun because none of these guys jump on top of me um so we can just wait that out and conserve the stamina this guy just holds block i dot him up and go for the fear we get good damage into him but all these other players right away jumping on top of us more yellow players coming in as well well we go for the spear ultimate into the back of the group there on the lower hp player that had just entered the fight but uh they heal up right away and we're unable to really capitalize on that and another friendly red player comes in and uh, he starts putting pressure in one guy here we right away go for the same target that he's jumping on top of and uh, they keep putting pressure on those guys there i'm just going to keep trying to work this group try to put down some group fear on these guys get a fear off on their templar that's healing and blocking and i go into the back of the group and take the enemy dragonite leap set off my purge and uh, the rest of the yellow here quickly finishing off the extra red that have come into the fight and we're just going to keep working on the back end of the group here just dot this guy up and just keep kiting around nice crit rush nice fear on the entire group there, getting good stuns off on i think three players there and they just keep chasing me here so we're going to purge off and head down the side of these rocks and uh, just try to split these guys up a bit as they're really piled up on the corner there and we take a bit of a peel around the side and we got both players kind of on both sides here Purge off those negative effects and then dot this guy up. Get him with a great off-balance stun into that 12k spear ult. Oh my lord. Absolutely nuke that guy. He goes down. We get the fear off on this guy. Go for the crit rush and start hitting him with the executioners. This guy just holds block, tanking it out. And we've got an enemy player up top hitting us with some attacks. The uh, necromancer there. But I just keep the pressure on this guy. And we've got another friendly player that comes in here. And uh, this guy's going to help us clean up the last player there. The guy up top ends up just running away. And that's the end of that fight. And now for the last clip that I've got for you guys today. We've got a little bit of a resource defense. And uh, so this guy comes up on our resource here. We're just waiting for people to show up. And we attack him right away getting hit out of stealth by these other players. A huge combo on this guy there with our ultimate. Not even critting on him. Just putting big damage in there. And uh, unfortunately we don't kill him. And we can't capitalize on the kill. So we're just forced back around the side here. We dot up the next player. Hit him with a nice fear there into the crit rush. And we try to put some pressure in. But he responds well with his block and his heals. And we're just going to keep kiting this Dragon Knight out get a nice dot up on him there go for the crit rush again and uh, into our ultimate a nice combo again but he goes right into his block a huge amount of healing power and this guy's not doing a ton of damage to us we are a vampire so he does have the fire damage bonus but still not a lot of damage coming out of his build he is primarily just going to be a tank so i just kind of ignore him here and we're just going to move on to some other targets here get a nice crit rush into this guy the executioner off the roll dodge there to finish him off and then we move on to the next target here hit the uh hit the spear alt there unfortunately i don't get the spear alt even though it shows the animation for it it doesn't go off so taking a lot of damage on this stack i come back inside get a huge fat rally heal and we're going to mist back up the staircase again just protecting our ourselves from that dragonite's fossilize fossilize such a difficult thing to deal with and i just opt for jumping right off the edge here um i don't want to stick around the tower because i just don't want to have that tank chase me get a great fear on the group there into the spear ultimate and we finish another player off i stick around in my mist form the spear ultimate of course pulsing the uh pulsing the damage afterwards to finish off that other player there and the dragonite following us around just spamming that fossilize we're fairly low on stamina here so we've just got to be very careful with our resources and 
and just pick our targets, not worrying too much about that DK outside of just kiting him and uh, try to pick on this Sork here. Now, the enemy Sorcerer kiting around the backside of this stuff here. I try to get a good stun off there. Unfortunately, he just streaks away before I can go for the fear and uh, just keeping an eye on the bodies as well. I don't want to get, allow them to get those reses, but just getting worked on my stamina bar. We get a huge combo on this guy here and I finish him off with the Executioner. Another nice kill and we're going to kite back behind the rocks here and uh, just keep on trying to get away from here and uh, the Dragonite man and that Fossilize. Oh my gosh, I'm taking so much damage. We've got more yellow players coming into the fight and I cannot keep the bodies down. Um, just not with the reinforcements coming in. They're both going for reses here. I go for the crit rush in, go for the ultimate, but the Earth Gore goes off. I'm unable to get the kill and now they've rezzed all the players so we're forced back into the keep here. Now, once we get in here, this DK still hot on our tail. He's just uh, just pretty much going to be a giant pain in our ass this whole fight. Um, but we're just going to ignore him still and just try to keep working this group. Uh, but they're all on the flag. They're all rezzed. I am back outside, but I do like this resource because we have really easy access with the logs to get back inside the uh, tower here. So really easy kite with our mist form to get back inside. And here we go. They're going to chase us up the top here. The Dragonite, of course, being the first one around the corner. Um, really, really tough stuff when you have the tank leading the charge with the stuns like that. Just because it, we want to take down the squishies, right? And if the tank's always the first one through, it just makes it tough for us to, to pick some good targets. Try to dot a few guys up there. But this yellow group, honestly, just kind of being a little confusing. They're, they don't know where I am. And they're standing at a weird opposite end of where I want to be. Get a good stun off there into my spear ultimate. But we can't really stick around and try to get that kill we try to get the executioner off on this guy there but uh just taking a little bit too much pressure from the enemy players get a nice big fat rally purge off and we're going to drop back down and we do a nasty drop there oh my god thank god we are on a wood elf saving us from the fall damage this dk jumps off the edge chasing us but he's got some kind of heal over time going on him because uh he just heals right up even though we stun him right away so we're unable to uh even just beat him through his uh, through his non-blocked stance. I mean, just so many tanky players nowadays. Actually, I had a lot of fights like that today where we were just getting chased by kind of a primary tank who just dealt very little damage, but their primary job was just to chase around and stun. Nonetheless, guys, um, I do my best to try to take home the rest of this fight, but these yellow are very tenacious, and, uh, well, you know me. I'm not going to give up either, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the footage. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. I create regular ESO content, so be sure to stick around for more ESO goodness. If you guys are interested in sending in any of your own clips to be featured in the top five battles, or if you guys want to send in a uh, build to be featured on the channel, you can send that to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. Of course, we go through the top five clips live on Twitch together, and all of this footage was streamed live on Twitch, so if you guys want to be a part of the live experience, you guys can always check out a link down below in the description. We are sponsored by What The Fast. They're a VPN for gamers. They give me better ping to my favorite games, and they're free to try for the first 30 days. If you guys want to give a service like this a shot, there's no credit card to sign up for this bad boy, so no harm, no foul if it doesn't give you the improvement that you're looking for. And last but not least, if you guys love the show and you want to help support it, you can always become a patron on Patreon. Without you guys' help, I would not be able to do this job that I love so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for helping, and I'll see you next time.